abandoned planet Earth? <laughs> well, the question of abandoning our uh, home planet is obviously about as big as they get. It's right up there with the uh, question of uh, whether or not God exists. But it actually is four different questions. They are, uh, should we, must we, will we, and can we? The uh, should we question is all about whether we should uh, direct our attention or resources to finding another habitable location or spend them on fixing Earth. The uh, must we question is whether or not we'll be forced off the Earth, either by having wrecked the planet and making it uh, uninhabitable, or because of the sun exploding in its terminal phase and otherwise frying us. The will we question is really just about whether or not we'll try to do it or give up and follow a different road. And finally, the can we question is about the feasibility of resettling Earth's population elsewhere. That, that's the one I want to deal with here. Um, some would say this is well within the realm of possibility and it'll ultimately be a man's greatest challenge, which he will meet with difficulty, but eventually with success. <laughs> Others would say the whole idea is ridiculous, uh, simply beyond the ability of the population of the Earth to pull off in any significant way. So, I look at both sides of this admittedly enormous question. First of all, who those who would say, yes, we can. Well, uh, what do they say? First of all, uh, we can because, uh, look, the, the astounding pace of technology innovation in the past few decades proves that we can. It's simply inconceivable that we would not be up to the challenge decades or even centuries or even millennia from now. Uh, second, there are viable possible locations for settlement. Uh, Mars currently seems to be the favorite. It's the closest, uh, seemingly available for uh, terraforming, that is uh, making it habitable for human beings. Uh, the Jupiter moon Europa uh, seems a plausible candidate in that it uh, apparently contains more water than the Earth does. Water, as we all know, is the one critical element for uh, human life. Can't go any place that doesn't have it. And we could even consider a space station orbiting any location we choose. The nice thing about that is uh, not involving landing requires a lot less energy to begin with. And that would make it a lot more practical. And with very advanced technology, we might even be able to seek out locations outside of the solar system. There are many options. Uh, once we arrive at any such destination, we can exploit the uh, full potential of ISRU, as they call it, in situ resource allocation. In other words, uh, using available stuff there and building with uh, 3D printers and other such advanced methods. Uh, many extremely advanced transport technologies are being uh, conceived of now. Examples include things like solar sails, antimatter rockets, space elevators, and the, and the harvesting of uh, additional required materials en route from asteroids and the like. Lots of smart people are giving this a lot of thought. Now, the possibilities are endless. We can do it! Uh, well, some would say, no, we can't. Come on, it's ridiculous. First of all, they would point to the fundamental problem facing these immigration aspirations is that of the distance to any sensible alternative location. As far as we know, it would take months or years to get to any of these places, even Mars, uh, let alone to the Jovian planets or further. Uh, confining people to a metal box for years and expecting them not to resort to mayhem or even madness uh, seems optimistic. The way people behave on the streets, particularly on Friday and Saturday nights, <laughs> says that this is <laughs> something to think about. Um, uh, such distance implies vast expense. It's not a trivial problem. The uh, ability of the world's economy on any kind of foreseeable economic scenario to finance such an endeavor is doubtful in the extreme. We, we just couldn't afford it. Uh, then there's the question of surviving constant radiation bombardment from the sun. Uh, it's been acknowledged that even the various moon missions were very high-risk projects. Uh, we were lucky that uh, the astronauts uh, survived that. Maybe some of them didn't. <laughs> uh, and they involved trips of minuscule length and duration compared to those that 
must be completed in uh, abandonment programs. Lethal emissions from the sun are frequent. Uh, there's some evidence, by the way, which suggests that both reproduction and conception might be uh, altered or even prohibited by dramatically different uh, forms of nutrition, radiation, gravity, all the other new things that we would encounter in outer space and other worlds. In such cases, of course, the, the project would then be the ultimate end game. And in any case, with our track record, it seems nearly certain that we will make our next home planet uninhabitable, uh, uninhabitable just as we've done with this one, and thus the target of a nonsense strategy. Collectively, these problems demonstrate that any such wild idea is utterly unfeasible. Well, <laughs> In uh, response to all this, what is my take? Well, uh, I would guess that the scientific challenge of getting to another place, w which we could then make habitable, would eventually be well within the imagination and inventiveness of mankind. Just look at what we've done in the past and how fast that's changing. But I would also expect that the sheer effort involved in moving hundreds of millions or even billions of people would defeat the program. Mars might be a viable alternative residence for uh, Elon Musk and his friends, but not for everyone. Uh, but uh, I should temper that conclusion by considering the very real possibility that the Earth population um, will have de declined dramatically. If by the time the technology uh, becomes available and the environment becomes unsurvivable, and there are only a few thousand people left, it could then make sense. But that, that's a pretty extreme scenario. Um, I should also point out that in the event uh, that mankind decides that abandonment is not a sensible alternative, then all of space exploration and the enormous amount of money spent on it becomes trivial or just entertainment, really, at best. Uh, the only practical value of these programs then would be that of just protecting the Earth from asteroid hits and uh, coronal mass ejections from the sun. <laughs> well, I hope you like that. It's a wild story. Uh, it's really interesting. It's food for thought. And uh, if you want any more like that, have a look at a couple of these other things and subscribe, please. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.